1909, the Arizona Gazette published a story about an explorer named G.E. Kincaid, who allegedly discovered an underground city within the Grand Canyon filled with Egyptian artifacts, mummies, hieroglyphics. And the article described a maze of tunnels and rooms. But of course, there has been no credible evidence found and the Smithsonian Institution, which Kincaid claimed to be working for, has denied any involvement. So the story remains a legend. And this is one of a plethora of mysteries surrounding this place. I can see why someone would request this video, which comes from a viewer, ISO Force, ISO Force E. Thanks for posting this request. I believe I talked about the Grand Canyon and the Egyptian connection before. I'll try and find that video and link it up for you. But I do want to talk about how mysterious this place is. If there is a place that is a hub of strange and mysterious phenomena, it's the Grand Canyon. All these monumental locations have stories, legends, and sometimes a history of paranormal activity. And I'll talk a bit about those things in a moment. And the Grand Canyon gets about 5 million visitors per year. And out of the 5 million visitors per year, you can bet something strange, bizarre, weird is going to go down just based on probability alone. Unfortunately, some people never made it back home. I uploaded a video once about Niagara Falls. I think it was titled, A Call to the Falls. And I mentioned how there is this energy that is pulling you towards it or drawing you to it as people would say even from very long distances what do you say folks do you feel drawn to the canyon i'm sure this place is overdue for either a vacation to enjoy its beauty and wonder or to turn someone into the next great mystery The Grand Canyon is definitely a place where the veil is thin. It seems to be a dwelling place. And it has been known to be a place that could swallow you whole. I was curious to take a look to see if anything has happened over at the Grand Canyon recently. And looky here. Missing Grand Canyon hiker found dead. Marking Park's sixth fatality in a month. What in the world is going on at the Grand Canyon? Is this normal? Six bodies in a month? Search and rescue teams discovered the body of a 60-year-old North Carolina man along the remote trail in the Grand Canyon, marking the sixth death in the park in less than a month. The National Park Service reported the hiker was found deceased Wednesday near a route connecting lower Top Eats Camp and Deer Creek Camp, approximately 29 miles northwest of Grand Canyon Village on the South Rim. The discovery came after the Grand Canyon Regional Communications Center received an alert about an overdue backpacker the day before. Park authorities reported the man's family notified officials around 4 p.m. Tuesday that he hadn't checked in, prompting an aerial search of the area. Authorities haven't released any additional information about the man, his family, or any potential factors that could have played a part in his death. This incident marks the 14th death in Grand Canyon National Park this year, and the 6th known death in less than 30 days, according to the Associated Press. Park officials said the average number of deaths per year typically ranges from 10 to 15. Also, just to add to this, 
It seems that 56 people have gone missing there since 2018. Apparently, this kind of thing happening at the Grand Canyon is normal. This is a mystery hub. This is a spiritual playground for malevolent entities. First of all, what is the Grand Canyon? I wouldn't dumb things down so much as to say it's a big hole in the ground. But symbolically, it makes sense when the Hopi refer to it as a portal or entrance into the underworld. Some explorers and hikers claim to have experienced time anomalies while deep within the canyon, reporting feeling disoriented, losing track of time, or even encountering otherworldly visions. Their theories suggest a possible time vortex or portal to another dimension hidden within the canyon. In the Hopi tradition, the Grand Canyon is the site of the Sipapu. That's the place where their ancestors emerged into this world from the underworld. A small hole in the ground which is sacred and guarded by the spirits of their ancestors. The Hopi view the canyon as a spiritual landscape. And its significance extends far beyond what most visitors understand. The Hopi people who have lived near the Grand Canyon for centuries have prophecies that describe the canyon as a significant spiritual place connected to the emergence of different worlds. They believe it is a portal to the underworld guarded by powerful spiritual beings. According to Hopi legend, the Grand Canyon was the site where their ancestors emerged from a previous world. Keep in mind that their ancestors were supposedly guided by the ant people who also may be connected to the ancient Egyptians. I'll get to that in a moment. Now, some visitors have reported strange occurrences after taking rocks or artifacts from the Grand Canyon, including illness, bad luck and accidents. This is believed to be due to a curse tied to the sacred spirits of the Hopi and other Native American tribes that regard the canyon as a holy site. Many people have returned items with letters begging for forgiveness, claiming their lives were plagued by misfortune after taking something from the canyon. And yes, you don't take items from a place that's haunted. Duh. Everybody knows that. <laughs> And what are you doing taking rocks home anyway? I guess people can literally get attached to any object. And I guess so can spirits, which is why they follow you home after taking one of their favorite rocks. What are you going to do with it? Show your friends? Hey, look at this rock I picked up at the Grand Canyon. Ain't it cool? <laughs> oh, relax. I'm just being facetious. I like rocks too. But you know, the Grand Canyon is like a graveyard of history. Some of you may have heard of Skeleton Cave or the Skeleton Cave Massacre. Around 75 dead and over 25 survivors. You can look that up about the Vavapai tribe. On December 28, 1872, Captain William H. Brown led 130-man force on an approach to a cave occupied by Yavapai warriors. When Major Brown called for surrender, the Yavapai responded with firing arrows and shouting threats. The soldiers used ricocheting bullets to strike the warriors inside the cave and thus provoking them to counterattacks. The Yavapai's resistance ended when Troop G of the 5th Cavalry rained rocks and bullets from an overhead position, leaving the cave filled with the dead. When you have violent deaths like this happen in a place scattered throughout the Grand Canyon, it results in these stories about hauntings, phantom ranch ghosts, 
visitors to the Phantom Ranch have reported seeing ghostly apparitions, including a man in a Civil War uniform. They are coming in as apparitions of the past. I mean, what do you expect? They call the place Phantom Ranch for a reason. By the way, the landscape there is unbelievable. I wouldn't mind going there. I'd have to deal with whatever I had to deal with, but look at that. You know, some have reported hearing the cries of a woman along the canyon's north rim, believed to be the spirit of a heartbroken mother searching for her lost children. Awful. Some hikers report hearing voices carried on the wind, which sound like whispers or faint conversations. And of course, they're in remote, hard to reach areas and they're sometimes attributed to the spirits of ancient tribes or lost explorers, if that makes them feel better. Some hikers and campers have reported hearing unexplainable sounds such as singing, chanting, or mechanical noises coming from deep within the canyon, especially at night. Theories range from natural acoustics amplified by the canyon walls to supernatural explanations involving spirits or ancient beings. And then there are places on the Grand Canyon map that have reputations. Bright Angel Trail is one of the most popular paths, yet it has a dark reputation due to its switchbacks and fatal accidents. Some hikers claim to have seen ghostly apparitions along the trail including the spirits of lost pioneers or miners, if that makes them feel better. John Wesley Powell led several expeditions into the Grand Canyon in the 19th century, with many men dying under mysterious or violent circumstances. Powell's journals mention strange occurrences such as unexplained noises at night and equipment disappearing without explanation. The Grand Canyon has been the setting for numerous reported sightings of Bigfoot and other cryptic creatures. Hikers and campers have claimed to see large ape-like figures moving through the forest and along the canyon's trails. Some indigenous stories of Big Man... It's a UFO hotspot. Any place that we want to go see, they want to go see. With reports of strange lights and unidentified flying objects frequently surfacing, some claim to have seen mysterious craft hovering over the canyon, similar to the Marfa lights in Texas. There are always rumors about secret locations within the Grand Canyon, legendary paths, caves, caverns. Hidden underground waterfalls are said to exist, accessible only through paths known to very few. These secret waterfalls supposedly harbor healing powers and were once used by ancient Native American tribes for spiritual rituals. Some explorers have reported finding a cave with a perfectly round dome shape, which is not typical of natural canyon formations. Inside, they describe strange carving symbols. Legends speak of gigantic skeletons discovered within some of those caves. Speaking of giants, you know, the Babylonian sky god was called Anu, right? Which is interesting when you compare it to the Hopi language where Ant is also referred to as Anu and friends as Naki. The Hopi term Anunnaki, meaning Ant friends, could be connected to the Sumerian Anunnaki. There's even a suggestion that the Ant people were present in ancient Egypt. Pharaoh Akhenaten is often depicted with physical traits reminiscent of an ant, I guess you could say. His elongated skull mirrors the shape of an ant's head, while his almond-shaped eyes and long neck resemble those of an insect. 
Also, his limbs, segmented body, appear similar to the feral ant, which is from West Africa, which is characterized by a long head, a reddish brown body, and a darker abdomen with a stinger. These stories definitely add to the mystique of the Grand Canyon, painting it not just a natural wonder, but a place full of secrets, legends, and unexplained phenomena. Sounds just like my kind of place. I can't wait to visit. Anyway, that's all for now, and there is more to come. I do have a recommended video for the day. Watch that video. It will be linked on screen at the top right corner of this video and in the description box and pinned comment below. Please hit the thumbs up button on your way out. You can also find me on Instagram at jwoodward. Check out my other links in the description box below. Everyone, have a great day or evening. And as always, friends, stay awake, stay aware, stay safe. And I'll talk to you all soon.